Good day, my friends. It's Billy Mandarino, the Nowist here. And I want to speak with you today about this global crisis that's happening in the East, this war that seems to be imminent, the bloodshed, the tragedy, this heavy energy across the planet that's happening right now. It weighs heavy on my heart. I think about it day and night. I feel the pain of our brothers and sisters, wherever they may be on this planet. But I want you to know that you can make a difference. We are all connected in oneness. There is no two-ness. We all come from the same source. We return to the same source. We all live in that oneness. And you think, what can I do to make a difference? Can I make a donation? Yes, you could do that. Can I send letters? Can I send food, blankets to help these folks? Can I do something? All that is good and I encourage you to do all of that. Find these global causes, these uh, internet sites that can, that can support this direct cause. But what you can do consistently throughout your day, when you feel this energy assailing you, is you have the power of your presence. You have the power of this present moment awareness that you have about this issue. And the energy that weighs very heavy on all of our hearts, the compassion hearts, especially in this world. You have the power through the connection in that oneness to change these lives. You can take the awareness, your peace in this moment, wherever you are, and you can use your imagination to send light, to send energy, to send prayers, connected oneness. What I like to do is I like to visualize with my eyes closed this big blue arc around the earth. And I like to imagine that the sun is hitting my body and I'm above that earth. And when that sun hits my body, I send this ray of light from my being into Gaza, into Israel, into the Middle East that's experiencing all this bloodshed, all this killing and death and pain. And I send my high light energy that's filled with global consciousness. I send it down to all those people. I send it to their families, to the ones that have passed, to the ones that are dying, the ones that they've lost. I send that energy down to them with all of my heart and all the energy that I have in prayer, in connective global oneness down to them. So imagine if I'm doing that and you're doing that and your friends are doing that and your neighbors are doing that and the community is doing that. Margaret Mead has this wonderful quote. She says, never doubt that a group of like-minded people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. She's talking about global connected consciousness. And that's what I want to inspire you to do today and tomorrow and next week and for the year. If you learn to connect to your present moment awareness with your intention, your imagination, the energy field of your body, especially connected to your heart, can send love, can send light, can send prayers to this part of the world right now. We can overcome the darkness and that's what it takes. St. Paul says that when the light touches darkness, darkness becomes light itself. So it's about transmuting that darkness into light. But you have the power to do that. And you don't have to go anywhere to do it. You literally can take the power of your present moment awareness, connect it with your imagination and the energy of your heart, and you can hover above this earth and you can send it directly down to them like a beam of light. And that dark part that's happening in their heart, in their family, miracles can happen. But it starts with you. It doesn't necessarily all have to be your money. It doesn't have to be your gifts that you're giving. It could be these emotional, spiritual, connected gifts in the oneness that can make the biggest impact. But do it consistently. Maybe in the morning when you wake up, you start with a meditation to send this light energy to the Middle East, to the people that are suffering. That's what I do. I do it in the morning. I do it at night. I'll do it throughout the day when I see a news flash or get a, re a reminder on my phone that something tragic has happened over there but we can be the change the world needs to see. Gandhi said it, be the change you want to see in the world. And that's my heart, and that weighs on me consistently in these troubling times for our world and for our brothers and sisters over there. I just think you can make a difference as well. And I want to inspire you and encourage you to do the same thing. Send your energy, send your prayers, send your heart, send the power of your intention connected to your heart and your imagination to those families, to the loved ones to the missing, to the hostages, send it to all of them. And you can be the difference to help this world change.